The Cavendish Laboratory is the Department of Physics at the University of Cambridge, and is part of the School of Physical Sciences. The laboratory was opened in 1874 on the new museum site as a laboratory for experimental physics. The laboratory moved to its present site in West Cambridge in 1974. As of 2011, update, 29 Cavendish researchers have won Nobel Prizes. History the Cavendish Laboratory was initially located on the new museum site, Free School Lane, in the centre of Cambridge. After perennial space problems, it moved to its present site in West Cambridge in the early 1970s. The oak door of the new Cavendish Laboratory is known for its inscription from the Book of Psalms in the Bible, The Works of the Lord are Great. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein, the department is named to commemorate British chemist and physicist Henry Cavendish for contributions to science and his relative William Cavendish, 7th Duke of Devonshire, who served as Chancellor of the University and donated money for the construction of the laboratory. The Duke of Devonshire had given to Maxwell, as head of the laboratory, the manuscripts of Henry Cavendish's unpublished electrical works. The editing and publishing of these was Maxwell's main scientific work while he was at the laboratory. Cavendish's work aroused Maxwell's intense admiration and he decided to call the laboratory the Cavendish Laboratory and thus to commemorate both the Duke and Henry Cavendish. Physical chemistry had left the old Cavendish site, subsequently locating as the Department of Physical Chemistry in the then new chemistry building with the Department of Chemistry in Lensfield Road. Both chemistry departments merged in the 1980s. Nuclear physics in World War II The laboratory carried out research for the Maud Committee, part of the British Tube Alloys project of research into the atomic bomb. Researchers included Nicholas Kimmer, Alan Nanmay, Anthony French, Samuel Curran and the French scientists including Luc Awashi and Hans von Halbarn. Several transferred to Canada in 1943, the Montreal Laboratory and some later to the Chalk River Laboratories. The production of plutonium and neptunium by bombarding uranium-238 with neutrons was predicted in 1940 by two teams working independently, Egon Brecher and Norman Feather at the Cavendish and Edwin M. Macmillan and Philip Abelson at Berkeley Radiation Laboratory at the University of California, Berkeley. Biology The Cavendish Laboratory has had an important influence on biology, mainly through the application of X-ray crystallography to the study of structures of biological molecules. Francis Crick already worked in the Medical Research Council unit, headed by Max Peretz and housed in the Cavendish Laboratory. When James Watson came from the United States and they made a breakthrough in discovering the structure of DNA, for their work while in the Cavendish Laboratory, they were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1962, together with Maurice Wilkins of King's College London, himself a graduate of St. John's College, Cambridge. The discovery was made on 28 February 1953. The first Watson Crick paper appeared in Nature on 25 April 1953. Sir Lawrence Bragg, the director of the Cavendish Laboratory, where Watson and Crick worked, gave a talk at Guy's Hospital Medical School in London on Thursday, 14 May 1953, which resulted in an article by Richie Calder in the News Chronicle of London. On Friday, 15 May 1953, entitled, Why You Are You? Near a Secret of Life, the news reached readers of the New York Times the next day. Victor K. McElhaney, in researching his biography, Watson and DNA, Making a Scientific Revolution, found a clipping of a six-paragraph New York Times article written from London and dated 16 May 1953 with the headline, Form of Backquote Life Unit in Cell, is scanned. The article ran in an early edition and was then pulled to make space for news deemed more important. The Cambridge University undergraduate newspaper Varsity also ran its own short article on the discovery on Saturday, 30 May 1953. 
Bragg's original announcement of the discovery at a Solvay conference on proteins in Belgium on 8 April 1953 went unreported by the British press. Sidney Brenner, Jack Dunnitz, Dorothy Hodgkin, Leslie Orgel, and Beryl M. Orton were some of the first people in April 1953 to see the model of the structure of DNA, constructed by Crick and Watson. At the time they were working at the University of Oxford's chemistry department. All were impressed by the new DNA model, especially Brenner who subsequently worked with Crick at Cambridge in the Cavendish Laboratory and the New Laboratory of Molecular Biology. According to the late drive, Beryl Orton, later Rimmer, they all traveled together in two cars once Dorothy Hodgkin announced to them that they were off to Cambridge to see the model of the structure of DNA. Orgel also later worked with Crick at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies. James Clark Maxwell 1871-1879, John William Strutt, 3rd Baron Rayleigh 1879-1884, J.J. Thomson 1884-1919, Ernest Rutherford 1919-1937, William Lawrence Bragg 1938-1953, Neville Francis Mott 1954-1971, Brian Pippard 1971-1984, Sam Edwards 1984-1995, Richard Friend 1995-present. Cavendish Groups Areas in which the laboratory has been very influential include Schoenberg Laboratory for Quantum Matter, led by Gil Lonzarich. Superconductivity Josephson Junction, led by Brian Pippard. Theory of Condensed Matter, which is the dominant theoretical group. Electron Microscopy Group, led by Archie Howey. Radio Astronomy, with the Cavendish Astrophysics Group's telescopes being based at Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory. Semiconductor Physics. Atomic, Mesoscopic and Optical Physics Group, led by Zorin Hadzibabuk. Nanophotonics Group led by Jeremy Baumberg, Structure and Dynamics Group led by Jackie Cole, Laboratory for Scientific Computing led by Nikos Nikiforakis, Cavendish staff and alumni. As of 2015, update, the laboratory is headed by Andy Parker and the Cavendish Professor of Physics he's a Richard Friend. Notable senior academic staff as of 2015. Update. Senior academic staff include Athene Donald FRS, Professor of Experimental Physics, Master of Churchill College, Cambridge. Sir Richard Friend FRS, Frank Cavendish Professor of Physics and Fellow of St. John's College, Cambridge. Stephen Gull, University Professor of Physics. So Michael Pepper FRS, KT, Honorary Professor of Pharmaceutical Science in the University of Otago, New Zealand. Didier Quelos, Professor at the Babcock Center for Experimental Astrophysics. James Floyd Scott FRS, Professor and Director of Research. Ben Simons, Herchel Smith Professor of Physics. Henning Seringhouse, FRS, Hitachi Professor of Electron Device Physics and Head of Microelectronics and Optoelectronics Group. Sarah Teichman, Principal Research Associate and Fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Notable Emeritus Professors The Cavendish is home to a number of Emeritus Scientists, pursuing their research interests in the laboratory after their formal retirement. Mick Brown FRS, Emeritus Professor, Volker Heiner FRS, Emeritus Professor, Brian Josephson FRS, Emeritus Professor, Archibald Howie FRS, Emeritus Professor, Malcolm Longer CBE FRS, FRS E, Emeritus Jacksonian Professor of Natural Philosophy. Gil Lonzarich, FRS Emeritus Professor of Condensed Matter Physics and Professorial Fellow at Trinity College, Cambridge. Brian Weber, FRS Emeritus Professor of Theoretical High Energy Physics and Professorial Fellow at Emmanuel College, Cambridge. Nobel Laureates at the Cavendish John William Strutt, 3rd Baron Rayleigh, Sir J. J. Thomson, Ernest Rutherford, Sir William Lawrence Bragg, Charles Glover Barkler, 
Francis William Aston, Charles Thomson Rees Wilson, Arthur Compton, Sir Owen Willens Richardson, Sir James Chadwick, Sir George Paget Thompson, Sir Edward Victor Appleton, Patrick Blackett, Baron Blackett, Sir John Cockcroft, Ernest Walton, Francis Crick, James Watson, Max Perutz, Sir John Kendrew, Dorothy Hodgkin, Brian Josephson, So Martin Ryle, Anthony Hewish, Sir Neville Francis Mott, Philip Warren Anderson, P. Y. O. T. R. Carpet Say, Alan MacLeod Cormac, Muhammad Abduz Salam, Sir Aaron K. L. U. G. Alumni besides the Nobel laureates, the Cavendish has many distinguished alumni including Richard Edwin Hills F. R. S. Olga Kennard, Henry Snaith, Evan James Williams FRS. The Cavendish Laboratory is the Department of Physics at the University of Cambridge and is part of the School of Physical Sciences. The laboratory was opened in 1874 on the new museum site as a laboratory for experimental physics. The laboratory moved to its present site in West Cambridge in 1974. As of 2011, update, 29 Cavendish researchers have won Nobel Prizes. History The Cavendish Laboratory was initially located on the new museum site, Free School Lane, in the center of Kiev. All them that have pleasure therein, the department is named to commemorate British chemist and physicist Henry Cavendish for contributions to science and his relative William Cavendish. 7th Duke of Devonshire, who served as Chancellor of the University and donated money for the construction of the laboratory. The Duke of Devonshire had given to Maxwell, as head of the laboratory, the manuscripts of Henry Cavendish's unpublished electrical works. The editing and publishing of these was Maxwell's main scientific work while he was at the laboratory. Cambridge. After perennial space problems, it moved to its present site in West Cambridge in the early 1970s. The oak door of the new Cavendish Laboratory is known for its inscription from the Book of Psalms in the Bible, the works of the Lord are great, sought out.